There are two types of resin, UV-resistant, UVR, and non-UV-resistant, non-UV. Derbyshire specialist aggregates recommend the use of aliphatic UV-resistant, UVR, resins for external applications. There are several reasons for this. Over time, the difference between using a UV-resistant resin and a non-UV-resistant resin can really start to show. If we look at these samples, for example, the top one is 2 to 5 mil silver grey using a UV-stable resistant resin. The one below it is also 2 to 5 mil silver grey, but using a non-UV resistant resin. And you can see a significant colour change in literally two to three weeks. The point is, would you accept this? Or more importantly, would your customer accept this? Areas covered by cars or wheelie bins will differ from exposed areas over time. We made this sample using a non-UV resistant resin. We then applied strips of duct tape. We left it outside for two to three weeks in direct sunlight. After that period, we remove the strips of duct tape and you can clearly see the difference. Of course, UV stable resin comes at a small price premium, but compared to the expense of relaying a surface or having to deal with an unhappy customer, we believe it is well worth the extra cost. It is essential that the dried aggregate you use is as clean as possible in order to avoid contamination. Daltex aggregates are washed prior to being dried. To show the importance of using a clean aggregate, here we have two samples. One is in its natural state and one has been washed. See if you can spot the difference. The aggregate must be dry. Do not use aggregates that appear to be damp in bags, as the resin may react with the moisture and lead to clouding and patching. Dust can soak up resin and create a cloudy finish. It is impossible to remove all dust from aggregates. However, in order to minimize dust content, we meticulously dry our Daltex dried aggregates and screen them, taking out the largest and smallest stones so that the exact grading for resin bound is achieved. The importance of good strong packaging, which is clearly labeled, cannot be overstated. At Derbyshire Specialist Aggregates, we have an inline bagging system, which automatically inkjets the product name onto the bag. We have also invested in the very latest hooders, which protect Daltex banks with waterproof hoods and ensure the product leaves us in pristine condition. Bespoke orders are also available, with part and mixed pallets assembled on our automated system ready for distribution. Of course, it is critical that the stock you require is available, and at Derbyshire Specialist Aggregates, we are committed to 100% stock availability. We produce production runs of our most popular products in 300 ton runs, and that ensures quality and consistency, and we carry finished stock levels ready for dispatch of 4,000 tons. Order online, and you can order up to 2 p.m. and still receive your order next day. Plus, you'll receive an immediate email confirmation of your order. Remember, ordering online means you can order from the comfort of your own home or anywhere else 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you prefer to talk to one of our specialist sales team, then telephone orders can still be placed before 1pm for next day or standard delivery. Our experience and research shows that the correct ratio of resin to aggregates is critical to achieving a lasting, durable finish. To ensure the required tensile strength for application, we recommend a minimum depth for driveways of 18 mm. Pathways with foot traffic only can be reduced to 15 mm. Our recommended mix for our 7.5 kilo UVR Plus resin pack consists of three bags of 2 to 5 mm stone, which is 75 kilo, one bag of 1 to 3 mm stone at 25 kilo, plus a 6.25 kilo bag of C52 sand which gives a total weight of 106.25 kilo, not including the resin content. Our recommended 7.5 kilogram UVR resin mix delivers resin coverage of 7.05% and covers approximately 3.55 squared meters at 18 millimeter depth. 
and 4 squared meters at 15 millimeter depth. We believe it provides a higher resin content and gives a greater surface area bond, particularly in low density aggregates. A stronger surface bond delivers a greater tensile strength and therefore it's less susceptible to moisture penetration and has a reduced risk of reflective cracking. Mixing the resin is a very important part of the process. Our two-part kit is designed to make consistent, high-quality and high-performance mixing as easy as possible. To achieve this, it is critical that both parts are mixed together in exact proportions. To ensure no accidental splashes, mix the resin in the container on a plasterer's board or some other protective surface. Add part B to part A. In order for the resin to cure properly, it needs all of the hardener in the mix. Less hardener will result in some of the resin failing to cure. If the part B looks milky or has crystals within it, it has been exposed to moisture and should not be used. Make sure the resin container is secure between your feet before you start mixing. Mix the resin thoroughly with a slow start eye torque drill and paddle for a minimum of 60 seconds. The resin will marble when you start to mix. You are looking for it to become one consistent colour. A good tip is to dip the drill to the bottom of the pot and keep lifting it. If the resin is consistent in colour then you can move to the next step. The working time for the resin is approximately 30 minutes at 20 degrees C. The curing time is approximately 8 hours. However, we do not recommend any foot traffic for at least 24 hours after laying. Resin is heat sensitive, so for every 10 degree rise in temperature, the curing time is halved. For this reason, we recommend that you try to keep the resin as cool as possible. It's not a good idea to keep resin in your van or in direct sunlight on a hot day. A reflective cover can also help keep the resin cool. As aggregates can also absorb heat, they should also be kept from direct sunlight. It's important that you avoid moisture at all costs. This can cause the resin to foam and cloud, resulting in unsightly white stains on the finished surface. It's always handy to have a tarpaulin available in case of any unexpected rain showers, and this is especially important before the resin has had a chance to cure. Resins are safe, however they should be used carefully. Please use the correct protective equipment including PVC gloves or gauntlets and overalls to protect skin contact. More information is available in the Daltex Resin Bound Information Pack, which is available for download from our website, resinbondedaggregates.com. Derbyshire Specialist Aggregates runs a resin bound training course. This video introduces some areas covered on the course. For more details, visit resinbondedaggregates.com or phone or email us.